Hey, what it do, what it do, man? One and only eye to the Q, man. I'm back, man. I just want to let y'all know, man. I teamed up with one of the most helpful tools, probably the most helpful tool on YouTube, man. The Vid IQ. You hear me? This is something I've been using since I probably had 5,000 subscribers, bro. And I really was trying to do my research right here, right? Um, this thing is like having a nerdy best friend that knows everything and more about YouTube. It can tell you daily ideas, keywords, rising keywords. Um, now they have an AI generated system um, where you can, you can literally make videos through the AI. This is crazy. I'm about to go check that out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you can put your competitors. I'm talking about this thing. You can see how many dislikes you got. You know, YouTube took away the dislikes, but you can see it on VidIQ. Um, if you want to sign up for it, use my code IQ23. And that's going to get you through the dough. I miss my nephew. Uh, I love my nephew. I keep this shit stronger. My thing about it, you can't take this music from me. You can't take this shit away from me. You can't take nothing from me. The way we do this shit. This is a family shit. Well, you know, we got more words from um Quavo Huncho, um, you know, one third of the Migos. So I guess I I pretty much think that he, he said all that because he knows there are like narratives going on about him as far as you know his part in, in takeoff death. Um, you know, all the fighting that people that we were seeing on the the backstage of the Grammys, I believe it was, they got into a little altercation. Um it's just like when you cause cause when you don't speak on things, because Quavo doesn't really speak on a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like they during that whole time, well, this whole time, they haven't really, they just started coming, he kind of just started popping out and, you know, talking again and dropping, he just dropped a new song yesterday, that's actually hard too, Turn Your Click Up, that's your hard as fuck, that's the one with uh, Future where he dissed Russell Wilson, but um, yeah, he just, it's like, if you if you don't put a narrative out, people that take whatever narrative and run with it, so he probably just, that's why he was like, man, I don't care what, what y'all think of me or whoever, you see what I'm saying, he said shit like that, because you know that people are saying shit, like, making him look like a villain or evil or the bad person or you know what I mean things of that nature but um I think it's just a lot on them boys man they they lost an intricate part of their ecosystem you feel me and take off um so it's kind of like picking up the pieces man and it's it's fucked up it's like because if y'all know the story of how take off died he wasn't even supposed to even die like it wasn't for him you know what I'm saying wrong place wrong time bro that's the only reason take off is dead he didn't have no beef with no niggas. They want no shit, no janky shit he was doing. Nothing, you know what I mean? So I could imagine that that could just... It's, you losing somebody is crazy, but losing losing them like that on some accidental shit? Man, mix up mix up people's feelings and shit and their emotions and their headspace, man. But uh, RIP Takeoff, man. Shout out Offset, shout out Quavo. Y'all let me know your thing. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm smoking gas, feel like I cute. I feel like I cute, bitch. I'm smoking gas. I feel like I cute. I feel like I cute, bitch. I'm smoking gas. I feel like I cute. Yeah. I feel like I cute, bitch. I'm smoking gas. I feel like I cute. Yeah. I feel like I cute. I'm sipping that red solo like I cute. Yeah. Yeah. I got all these bitches 